that that means that you are allowing people to control your life and dictate the tone, the outcome, and the the level of well, but but I'm married, so it's over. So what do you mean? It's what do you mean? It's, why do, what do you mean? It's over. <laughs> Like, what you said, like, to dictate, like, I, I have a wife, so... We'll okay, see. all right, but you have a wife. That's that going to be forever. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not telling somebody to get a divorce, but I'm saying uh, a divorce, lot of times divorce, we, divorce. we pick these, we pick the people in our lives because they replicate the toxic situations that have happened in our childhoods. And Do you have children? Yes, I do, sir. I have five. Five so, babies. Now. So are you, and when you say, babe, how, what's the youngest? The youngest is uh, six months. Okay. The oldest is twelve. So, okay. So, but is this is this like something that goes on in your household with your wife now? Where yeah. You, where you exactly. can't. And if you speak up, what's the what is the response when you speak up about something that's important to you? It's like it's respected, but I get the annoying. Um, I, I get the annoying ad libs in between. Like, you respect my. But my my notion, my word is respected, but I get the ad libs in between. Oh, I shouldn't get there. Oh, you shouldn't get there. Oh, oh, oh. We're not accepted. And look, if you have five kids in your home and your your attitude is is it's over, I'm married and it's over, right? I mean, yeah. that says in itself that that tells me a lot. It tells me that you're dedicated to this family, you're dedicated to this woman, you're dedicated to her <laughs> happiness, and all of those things are important. Am I wrong in that assumption? No, you're not. No, okay. You're not. So, do you think that's valuable? And do you do you think that's a valuable thing for a woman to have a man who's dedicated to his family and and to her? Happy? Do you do. think Do you think that your wife appreciates all that you do? She does. Okay. So then, why is she not respecting the fact that you're setting boundaries? I brought this up before on the lives before. I like the definition of compromise. Um, yeah. If you can, Mike, read it out loud when you get it. Got it right here. A compromise is an agreement or a settlement of a dispute that is reached by each side making concessions. It means that we both make concessions. That means I'm not happy with the decision and neither is she. Um, but we make concessions because we love each other and we, because we, we create a family unit that helps our children to, to feel loved and, and taken care of and stuff. But neither one of us is 100% happy with it. Compromise doesn't mean that you do what she wants you to do. We've made this compromise and we move on. If somebody's still giving you backlog, it's because they haven't accepted the compromise. It's a manipulative thing because ultimately what they're trying to do is they're trying to nag you. You don't have a say so. And this is exactly what's happening to you. And I'm saying this, and I don't know you, but I can read it. You're saying I'm married. It's over. What you're saying is that. I, I would imagine she probably brings it up for for the whole relationship, because if you allow this behavior to continue, happen, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. There's never a situation where somebody who's being abusive stops being abusive. They don't get tired of being abusive. They just get comfortable with it. And so, as much as you don't want to, you don't want to get into a. You don't want to get into a confrontation, but not understand this. Not getting into the confrontation means that you will deal with this kind of abuse for the duration of your life. And then my question to you is, are you okay with being abused for a compromise that you made? It wasn't all of what you wanted either. But just because you didn't lay down and do everything and, and, and just let somebody bend your will... Now you have to deal with the abuse of it because you don't have the balls to stand up and say this is this is not okay. You said you have six kids, yeah? No, I, I have five kids. Five I kids. do have the balls to say that it's not okay, but it's just the point of, of the risk of losing it all. That's, that's okay, the biggest thing. But so because you have a risk of losing it all, you, what you're saying is that you have to do all the things that you are, being a father, being a husband, being compromising, being a provider, and... If you say, I don't like something, then somebody's willing to, to just take it all away from you? Right. Is, is that what you're saying? That's, that's what I'm saying. That's, what, that's okay, how so I So let me ask you this. What kind, of, what kind of life is that? What kind of life is that for you? Hey, this is inappropriate and that I'm unhappy. You are, you are saying, I could lose this, and so I'm willing to put up with whatever abuse that she's willing to dish out as long as I can keep this situation that I'm not happy with in the first place. I mean, isn't that what it is? That's what it is. Okay, so you have, a, you have an un, a unhappy existence 
in a situation where you're doing all that you can do, right? Doing the best that you could do. And not only that, but if she if she pointed out there's things that she wanted you to do, you'd probably do those things as well, right? Yeah. But then when you're want, when you need some 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 gas in the tank to keep this train moving, she's even if she does compromise, then she beats you up and puts you puts your your testicles in a ringer because because how dare you want some kind of relief or some kind of happiness? And and here's the thing that that's most interesting to me is you think by sticking around in a situation like this in an abusive situation that you're doing the kids a favor. And what you don't understand is how many, how many you got five five kids. How many boys? How two. Many? Two. I got. I'm sorry. Two, two what? Two girls. Two, three boys. Two girls. Three boys. But they watch what you do, and you are teaching your boys to get into a relationship and sub submit to abuse. And you are teaching your girls, and your wife is teaching your girls to be. No, I'm not crying right now. I'm smoking, actually. Okay. No, I didn't say. What you're doing is you're you're teaching these boys not to stand up for themselves because they're going to operate on the foundation and the and the, the model, the model that you give them, right? And your teach and your wife is teaching, uh, your your daughters. That they're supposed to be unreasonable and disrespectful, right? Type shit, right? And so, and that ain't cool. But so, what you're saying, you, it's all over. I get it's all over, but this is a conversation that you you need to have. Um, you need to have this conversation. If you have a problem getting 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 your weight up so that you could do it, you can consult with me. Go go to DanteNyore.com. Anybody who go, because I mean, what you're dealing with is something that men deal with uh, across the board uh, plenty of times. Go to DanteNyore.com. Click on consult. We can talk about it. I can. I'll, I'll teach you how to do it, and I'll teach you in a, in a way that's so reasonable, right? That you can say it is so reasonable that it's almost it's almost un, you can't deny what the, what you're asking for. But what they're ultimately revealing to you is that they're going to be they're going to be effing you for the rest of your life. They're they're going to be screwing up your kids because this this toxic relationship where where one party is abusive and the other party puts up with it, right? Is the relationships right. that I mean, can you imagine? I mean, I know you look at your kids and you love your kids. Would you want them to be in a situation like this? Would you want your sons? Well, from it. But this is but this is what you're teaching them. You understand that, right? I understand what you're saying. You they are watching you and they are watching this play out. And you and your wife and your marriage is the depiction of how they will see the interaction between men and women and for the rest of their lives. And they will and they will mimic this in their own relationships. Is this why that that you have to have like more or less your family at stake to to the um for the situation? Like, you, you I don't I don't want to be in a position where I, I I do love my family I love my wife as well but I don't want to be in a situation where I want to um just give up on it all. Okay, I'd a, a, I'd ask you this. Let's let's take this to the, let's take this to the schoolyard. You, know? you in the schoolyard? We we in sixth grade and I'm the bully, right? And I'm and I'm bullying you every day. I'm taking your milk money every day, right? At some yeah. point, in the, and now you can have a conversation and say, "Listen, I'm a I'm a human being, and I and I, I don't think this is fair, right?" And if once I go, "Yeah, I don't, I don't care what you think. Give me your milk money," right? Then what is your option beyond that? You is got. That a, is that you gonna say no, or you gonna hand the bread over? You gonna hand the bread over, or you gonna punch me in my mouth, right? Yeah. Now, I'm not advocating violence. What I'm saying is you have to emotionally take a stand. Otherwise, you will, you will be doomed to be in this situation for the rest of your life. Because there's no chance. At no chance will she go, oh, my husband is so great, and I realize what he does, and I, I haven't been appreciating him, and I need to appreciate him more, and I need to be more no. empathetic. That, that doesn't happen. Not, no, if, no, not no. unless you do it. When does the bully say, because this is what she's doing. She's emotionally bullying you. Right. When does yeah, it, the, it happens when stop copping a like, plea, stop copping a plea. You get ready to you, you get ready to pay up. You get ready to pay her bail money. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. I don't. Doug, I have no dog in this fight. I'm just going by what you said. So before you even start copping a plea and tell me how she ain't that bad, 
the picture that I, that 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 I'm 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 evaluating is the picture that you painted. And it doesn't matter if it's not all the time. It should be never. Not when you got a black man who's taking care of his kids and loves his wife and providing. Why should you have to deal with that? And this is not about this is not about black woman bashing. This is about abusive people who are allowed to continually continuously be abusive and then not not getting checked. And you don't want to get checked because you don't want to make no trouble. Your happiness is important. There's no way that you can be a good father and not have some happiness or or where you're literally wow. hiding behind the couch because you're afraid stray bullets is going to fly. How do you how do you provide a, a masculine male model for your kids if that's what you're doing? You don't have a choice. So if it has to be put on the line, it's got to be put on the line. And if she's got five kids, if you wasn't in that house um, picking up the slack, dog. She wouldn't know what to do with five kids. I guarantee, I guarantee you, your your daughters or your sons, you got some that are favorites that play her like a like a violin. And if you're not there to stand up and say, "Listen, take, listen, respect your mother, do what your mother said," it it wouldn't happen. Well, yeah, you, you're right. You go, listen, I don't care right. what you said. Your mama said, blah, 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 blah. But when when you remove that from the relationship, it changed. The, how old are you? I'm 36. And how old is your wife? 31. Okay, so let me explain something to you. Without you, nobody's trying to, nobody's trying to hook up with some 31-year-old chick with five kids. Who, nobody's buying that. Nah. Nobody's really buying don't. a... A, 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 a 1983 Corolla with, with, with bald tires and, and dents in the, in the hood with ripped cushions. You understand? With 100, uh, 300,000 miles on it. Nobody's buying it. So what I'm saying is you have to understand what your value is in this. I, I, and I don't mean to be harsh about it, but let's be honest. Let's be honest. You are a good thing for this woman, just like she's a good thing for you. And you need to be treated as if you're in, uh, that you're important to this union and not disregarded. And because and it's not I mean, look, we could talk about your happiness, but what's more important than your happiness is the model that you present to your children who you will doom them to do the same dumb ish that you're doing right now. Because. What the the way that your wife approaches this now comes from what she saw in her household, right. and so this is this is cyclical. This is just this is perpetuated on and on and on and on and on. If we don't do something about that, that's a problem, dog. People don't sit down and talk about the hurt and the things that they went through before they actually being serious Absolutely. with their partner. Absolutely, going forward, you know, because like I probably didn't really take the time really to sit down and of see course. her hurts and what what she really. Of went course, through and, and you also and you also kept uh, leaving it in. You, know? <laughs> you got five kids, <laughs> so this didn't I'm happen. Sharpshooter, man. Yeah, this so. this this was happening on the first kid, and then you chose to have mm-hmm. another one. And it happened on the second kid, and the third kid, and the fourth kid, and this is continue. You got a, you got one in six months, so you have you're unhappy in a lot of ways. I'm not saying you're totally unhappy. I'm not saying you don't love your wife, but you're unhappy, and this is your and you still leaving it in. Anyway, look, bro, uh, book a book a consultation. DanteNever.com. Click on consult. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on stuff.